Hello fellow collectors, and welcome to Gallant Gun Toys. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video, and today we are reviewing the brand new SH Fig Arts Piccolo Damio. Damio? Uh, it's King Piccolo anyway, um, I'm not 100% sure I'm uh, pronouncing that part right. I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, let's have a quick look at the box. So as you can see, we got a gold mashy sticker. So I believe this one is uh, straight from Japan, so that's cool. Uh, we got Bandai down the bottom, Tamashi Nations, Dragon Ball, and uh, Bandai Spirits, made in China, designed by Tamashi Nations in Japan. Um, King Piccolo Damio on the bot on the side there. And then on the back there, we've got just some nice images of him spitting out his egg. And just him in some battle poses and fighting Goku and stuff. So really, really cool. And then on the side, it's just a bit of a continuation of the front. So let's crack him open and get a closer look. So he's got his two outstretched palms. He's got his two grappling hands. He's got a karate chop hand. He's got a pointing finger. Uh, he comes with an egg that can be representing uh, Piccolo Jr. or one of his other minions. And then this little extra piece here is for the egg to sit on if you don't have an extra flight stand peg for this. And then of course he comes with the one star Dragon Ball. So he's got the egg spitting head. He's got the angry face with the bloodshot eyes. Then he's got a gritted teeth head then he's just got his uh, confident smirking head on the figure and then we can't forget the electric rice cooker with the evil containment seal on it so that does it for all the accessories let's get a better look at the figure shall we okay so straight out of the box wow absolutely uh, fantastic uh, I've already opened uh, my other two of these I saved this one for the review uh, but thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Uh, I haven't had much time with the first two I've opened. Uh, I literally opened the second one pretty quickly. The first one I had a bit of a play around, uh, swap the head and stuff. But yeah, this is uh, really, really nice. The heft is absolutely awesome. The articulation is very, very solid. You can get some nice full arm. Uh, movement out of there. He's got quite good articulation at the waist, uh, even considering that symbol on his chest. That's actually really, really good. Um, yeah, no, he's he's pretty solid. He's got some great articulation. Very, very impressive for such a large figure. Uh, I'm I'm really really impressed, really impressed. Okay, so the articulation is pretty much exactly what you'd expect from an SH Figure Arts. Um, you know, if you've been collecting the line long enough, you tend to know what to expect uh, when you see a prototype and. Uh, what you'll be able to get out of it, uh, but this guy is really really fantastic He's a lot more poseable than some of the bigger SH figure arts uh, The paint is just absolutely spot-on The sculpt work is amazing and I could not be happier. This is just a fantastic piece He's so big and hefty, but you'll see how hefty he is Next to uh, some other SH Fig Arts uh, when I bring them in for a comparison shortly. But yeah, wow. Just, just amazing. Okay, so let's have a closer look at some of these heads. And uh, a better look at the rice jar and the egg. And then we'll jump into some comparisons. Okay, so here's a closer look at the uh, rice jar. Uh, rice cooker, sorry. Looks absolutely awesome. That's very, very impressive. It has a nice feel to it. It's just very nicely painted. Uh, just really, really nice. Really nice. Fantastic little accessory to add. 
And just quickly, here's the egg. Uh, pretty nice. Not a great deal of detail, but you don't need a great deal of detail. It uh, looks pretty perfect and show accurate to me. Okay, so here's a better look at him with some of his other hands and his uh, bloodshot eyes. And yeah, that looks really, really cool. Here's a better look at him with his gritted teeth head. And here he is with the egg spitting head. And this one, I cannot wait to get a flight stand and have that egg shooting out of his mouth. It's going to look really cool. Can't wait. And here's a look at all three of mine together. And, uh, wow, I'm so glad I got three. Uh, he's such a nice figure. So big. Uh, very impressive. Okay, now let's jump into a uh, quick height breakdown, and then we'll jump into some comparisons. So, as for height, he's standing at pretty much right on seven and a half inches, which is really, really impressive. Uh, that makes him definitely one of the bigger SH figures. Uh, I'm pretty sure Super Boo's a little bit bigger than him. Uh, actually, I'll bring Super Boo in for a comparison so we can have a look uh, just what the difference in size is. Here he is with uh, Master Roshi. Here he is with Kid Krillin. Here he is with Kid Goku. Here he is quickly with Bulma. Here he is with his son Piccolo. And like I promised, here he is with the Super Boo. And I think they are pretty much about the same height. Like uh, Boo's neck isn't, like his neck and his head are like a different sort of proportion. But as for shoulder height, no, they're uh, <clears throat> more or less at the same shoulder height. So, yeah, they're pretty much the same size, which is really good. And keeping with the larger SH figure arts, here he is with the newest Broly figure. And as you can see with this one, also about shoulder height. Okay, so super happy with this guy. He is just absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to get him into the detail uh, with the other two that I've got and get some awesome poses going with uh, them and some other Dragon Ball characters. Uh, it's going to be great. I can't wait. And if I have to give this guy a score, I'm going to give this guy a perfect 10. Uh, a little bit biased because King Piccolo is probably my second favorite character in all of Dragon Ball after Vegeta. Uh, but as biased as it is, uh, perfect 10 because uh, I really think it deserves it with the accessories, uh, the amount of heads that he comes with, just the different expressions. It It is fantastic. You can pretty much recreate any King Piccolo scene you want with this figure. Um, it, it's just fantastic. Could not be happier. And I cannot recommend you getting it enough, guys. Hell, even if you don't collect the SH Figure Arts line and you just appreciate King Piccolo as a boss figure, get this. You don't have to collect SH Figure Arts. This is honestly one of those figures I think that's honestly probably good enough to just have as just your only SH figure arts, because it's that good. Pick up a Kid Goku to go along with it, and you'd be set. Uh, you know, you'd be able to make some really cool poses. Uh, you know, you don't necessarily have to collect all of them like myself and a lot of other people do. You can just collect the ones you like, or just collect one, one particular one, if that's what you like. Get your favourite character. Alright fellow collectors, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like down below. If you're not already a subscriber, do hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, you can also follow me on Facebook over at Gallet Gun Toys. Thank you as always for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.